In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys three pieces of news about the bike industry. The most shocking of which is this company, DJI, is now gonna get into the business of bicycles. What's up everyone, FC here from EMTV Review and today I'm gonna share with you guys three pieces of news, good news this time, not the inventory problems and company shutdown problems that I've been talking about the last two episodes of this series. But uh, the first one is really kind of shocking because this company, DJI, is gonna make e-bike motors. The project is called DJI Avinox, that's their motor. And, and system, it's a whole ecosystem of motor, battery, and display, and software, and app, all that. And they are gonna produce it. Uh, and the first company they have to put to integrate this motor is called Amflow Bikes, and it's gonna be released tomorrow in Eurobike in Germany, I believe. And this is kind of groundbreaking because, you know, you're like, why does FC care about, you know, a drone company making motors? It's because it's as if Apple computer made motors for e-bikes you know this company is that important is they're that good you know and i don't know if you guys know about dji but they are so far ahead of the competition that no one can compete with them they're big they, this drone is a thousand bucks uh, it shouldn't be but it is because they have the best technology and there's no competition you know in fact you know that company gopro gopro tried to make drones uh, with their uh, compete with the old DJI drones, they were so far behind that they just decided to quit the market. <laughs> you know, they had no chance of catching up, and now DJI is so far ahead of the competition. They have big drones, you know, things for gardening and or not agriculture. Uh, they have little drones. They have FPV drones, but they're so far ahead of everyone. Really, I have a I, I created a drone channel, and I'm saying no one can compete with them. Uh, the other thing they do is they they made a mic. You know, this thing is so advanced, this wireless mic. You know, you don't really need this thing anymore. They made a, a selfie stick. They made uh, a, a GoPro, an action cam. And people are saying, oh, it's way better than GoPro. In a few short years, they're able to catch up with everyone. Okay, so they're that good of a company. What about the motor? What's going on with the motor? The motor is called the DJI Avinox. And from what I've seen, this thing is insane. So the motor is light, the batteries are light and powerful. What DJI is gonna bring to the table is integration. Integration, all the connections, the batteries are gonna be state-of-the-art, the app, and from what I see, it's gonna be a 250 watt motor, so it's gonna comply with the law. That's the nominal, the average, uh, and then, but the peak output will be 850 watts. And then you have a little boost mode, a thousand watts. Uh, and then the maximum torque, this is the important stuff. The most important stuff is torque when you're talking in mountain bikes. Maximum torque is 105 newton meters and 120 newton meters in boost mode. In comparison, the, the Specialized Levo has a 90 newton meter motor, but really kind of throttled down because of, of all the issues. And uh, the strong motor today is the Bosch motor, both the CX-4 or the CX race, those are 85 newton meters. And I profess to them, to the world, that these are the best, they're the most powerful motors because they have a very consistent flow torque curve. I just tested a, a new motor from Aventon, 100 newton meters, and let me tell you, look at my stats here, it blew away the Bosch and it blew away the Levo motor, <laughs> the Bros motor. So for these guys to come up with 105 newton meter and 120 uh, boost is insane. Uh, they have two batteries, a 600 watt hour and an 800 watt hour. And what's really cool about it is the uh, 600 watt hour is 6.1 pounds and then the uh, 800 watt hour is 8.1 pounds. So pretty light. You know, I think the, the Levo motor is 10 pounds uh, and that's a 700 watt hour battery. The charger is good as well. They have a, a normal charger a uh, couple hundred watts and they have a 500 watt charger and so you know your, your battery is gonna charge in like two hours or, or three hours and and from 20 to 80 percent it's gonna be that cooked in about an hour an hour and change so they're gonna bring this to the table meaning you can have a snack charge your battery 
with the little power station and and boom it's done you know you can go again in about an hour <laughs> okay the display is good as well they're not going to screw around with the switches and the display not like not like Fatsuwa or Shimano with a with a crude displays. Even the latest Bosch, you know, what is the five battery indicator uh, on the Bosch? 20, 40, 60 percent. We need zero to 100, and these guys are going to deliver it. They have a two-inch OLED display um, and uh, touch control, LTE, 4G LTE, eight gigabytes of storage. It's going to deliver a USB-C uh, charge, a port with 60 watts of power. Uh, you can charge your phone in like an hour. Uh, they have a light sensor so you can imagine oh you can have uh, automatic lighting based on uh, ambient light. What I'm saying here is this is going to be an insane motor even the version 1 is going to be better than what exists out there and why is this important you know who cares about Amflow bikes right they're just the first partner and one of these US manufacturers uh, has to partner with DJI and whoever does it first is going to win. Okay, the second piece of news I have is a company called Schwalbe, Maker of Tires. They're making a new valve called the Click Valve. Uh, and this is to replace or, or upgrade your Presta valves. And why is this an issue? Because Presta valves are not that cool for uh, tubeless. Uh, so these new valves are uh, going to be 50% more flow, more airflow, meaning your sealant is not going to clog it as easy. You know, the problem with Presta valves is you have a core, a Presta core in there, and that thing occupies a lot of space, and so the sealant wants to seal it up and clog it. Uh, it, it it's just a problem that exists as sealants get better, have more, more uh, grit in them, uh, they, they, they just clog valve cores, and you just have to replace them every so often. So hopefully this thing will fix it, and this thing also will have a much easier inflation uh, system where you just you just click it so you could have you could you could you could fill it up with your old uh, uh, valve head your pump head or they have a new uh, click valve head that will just click on it uh, so you know much easier much easier to use no more unscrewing that thing and covering it so this thing it looks all sealed so we'll see we'll see uh, pricing is good 34 dollars for the two uh, valves or if you just want the core you can convert all it's backwards compatible to all your your valve cores uh, you can convert them uh, $15 for two of these these new cores so so really cool you can have a new pump head for 45 bucks and and two of the the, the cores there's a new website called clickvalve.com click with a K uh, five lengths of, of these these valves so we'll see all right, so the next piece of news I have for you guys is just a piece of good news is that Giant is making a bid for stage cycling uh, for $20 million. So this should succeed. They got all the employees already, the key employees, or the five key employees are, are working for Giant already. And uh, for $20 million, that sounds about right, you know, to appease the creditors. So, and Giant's got the resources. And this is good news because Stages is a good company, good technology, and they have a lot of customers. You don't want to leave all these customers high and dry, right? You know, I know a lot of friends are already like, oh man, you know, who's going to service my thing now? So there's going to be, not done yet, but I think this is going to succeed. You know, Giant's going to purchase Stages and, and keep that going. So there you go. Uh, the last piece of uh, bonus good news I have, or not good news, is just an update. It, people are saying, hey, bike industry is tough. Everyone's told to hunker down, survive until 2025, uh, and, uh, and everything should uptick again. Uh, meanwhile, Tour de France is going on, and uh, I love it. I'm kind of getting back into it. I used to be a big roadie guy. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're watching, if you're interested, and, and uh, who, what are your predictions for the sprint stages, uh, the mountain, and, and the, uh, the yellow jersey. All right, check this out, guys. Right?